My name is Roshan Rebnarain and I am the CEO of Energy Matters. This property in the Gold Coast hinterland is our forever home. The intention is to live here for at least the next 20 years, 25 or 30 depending on what the universe has in store for us. But to find it was an absolute mission. We've lived in apartments, rented apartments for the first 25 years of our time in Australia, around Sydney, Melbourne, the Gold Coast prior to moving here. So for us, you know, we knew that we wanted to get out of that sort of metropolitan living. Although the apartments were beautiful, ocean views at the times, water views, they were stunning. It was still very, very small. We have a family of three, myself, my beautiful wife TJ, and my lovely daughter Coco. So great family, growing family, we love technology. So no matter where we lived, despite being in small apartments, our energy bills were significant. So that was always on the back of my mind. For our, few, for our consideration for our property, we wanted a small acreage. Reason being, we, you know, we believe in a zero carbon future, energy matters, and I personally like to live that way. I haven't been able to be zero carbon or net zero at any given point in my time in the last 25 years. So talking about it on my website, on television, and to people that I aim to inspire, I knew that I wasn't walking the walk and it's something I wanted to do. So finding this property really had to tick several boxes. First one being we needed land so we could grow fruit trees, which could supply us with fresh produce over time. On top of which, I needed to have a decent brew space, as big as possible, with as much natural light coming through. We also wanted to be carbon positive, which meant having a solar power system, battery storage, which is something we have now got, and I'll speak more about in a second, was important to us. Having as many trees as possible to really suck that carbon out of the air was also incredibly important to us. So we found our dream property. It took over 12 months of searching, um, try flying to the Gold Coast every weekend, to, because we knew this is where we wanted to live, and we wanted to be as close to the coastline as we could, but have that real sense of peace and serenity. So the Gold Coast hinterland was our ideal location. So here you go. This is the brains behind our solar power system. We have 20 kilowatts of solar panels on our roof, and that feeds DC electricity to this guy here. This is our Goodwee EHB 10 kilowatt hybrid inverter. It's an amazing piece of kit. As you can see from all its little graphics, it can do multiple things. Its first and primary job is to convert DC electricity into AC and then power everything that's being used in our home at the time. Alongside doing that, it also powers these guys. We have Goodwee Lynx batteries. These are each 3.2 kilowatt hour modules. And those of you who can do the math quickly can see that we've got 12 modules, which gives us 38.4 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Now that is a lot of battery storage, and if I'm honest with you, we only discharge to about 60%. Why have we gone so high? Well, there's a little bit of a story behind that. When we're picking how many batteries we wanted, we'd just gone through a nine day blackout as a result of Cyclone Alfred. And we'd realized that for nine days, not only would we be able to, not only was our electricity requirements quite high, had we had electricity just to power our home, it was super hot at the time, we're in the middle of summer, so we had high humidity to deal with, as well as you know requirements for air conditioning, we had no refrigeration, we had no, no cooking abilities. So even if there wasn't, hadn't been a nine day blackout, we realized, you know what, we do need some significant battery storage just to power our home throughout the evenings and early mornings. When you consider if there is a blackout, and this happens again, which potentially will do, we have to have enough power to power our home for consecutive days. Now, what's important about having this particular type of inverter being a hybrid one with blackout protection, it's a 10 kilowatt inverter, which means during a blackout, the maximum amount of electricity you can produce is 10 kilowatts per hour. We've got 20 kilowatts on the roof, it doesn't matter during a blackout, you're only really processing 10 kilowatts. So that will still give us around 40 kilowatts of electricity being produced every single day. Our home probably uses about 24 kilowatts on, per day, which means another 16 kilowatts can go into charging these guys and keeping them as topped up as possible during a blackout. When it's not a blackout, you've got absolutely no problems. Both the batteries and the home are powered cons consecutively or consistently in parallel, which means our home is being powered, our batteries are being fully charged, starting quite early in the morning, and once those guys are fully charged, it means the electricity is either going to our home, or we can then send some back into the grid and assist the local community um, by feeding, feeding excess back into there through a VPP plan. Really for us, adding solar power and battery storage was a choice not just for today, 
but also for the next 10, 15, 20 years from now. We know our energy requirements are going to increase over time as climate change continues to kick in. Summers are going to get hotter, winters are going to get colder. We're already experiencing zero, um, zero degree temperatures here in the Gold Coast, which I've never seen before, especially when I lived there over 10 years ago. So we know that we now need heating at times during winter. We know that we need air conditioning to cool down the property in the height of summer, where the temperatures can get into the high 20s, early 30s, but especially the humidity is pretty strong here. So really for us, maxing out our roof space with solar panels was key. We've got 20 kilowatts on the roof, which is absolutely perfect. Almost north, northwest, so lots of abundant light. Even from early mornings, we're still capturing some great sunlight. Battery storage was the next key consideration. For us, we wanted batteries to be able to power the home late at night and early mornings. But also blackout protection was so important to us. In this particular part of town, and to be fair, in a lot of places around Australia, you know, we are at the mercy of the grid, and it's no one's fault, but the infrastructure is fairly old. So when we do have, be it a climatic event like a cyclone, which we experienced, which took out all the power lines, we lost power for nine days. Now, without, bat without blackout protection, you know, if, irrespective of having a solar power system, that solar power system would be redundant, even during a blackout. So for us, having blackout protection was key, Goodwee's EHB inverter provided that reassurance. It enabled us to not only be able to power our home and charge our batteries um, with the grid being up and running, but during a blackout, the system would isolate itself from the grid, continuing to power our home, continuing to charge up the batteries, and then discharging those batteries to power our home at night time and early mornings. For us, it means now we're energy independent. With everything we've done to the property so far, we're carbon positive. And as we continue to develop our own food sources, it's gonna reduce our carbon dependency even further, which is our key goal.